if you have seen my videos about my hometown Rijeka or the town of Seng, then you will remember that I mentioned so-called Alpium Lulilarum system. And for you who haven't seen my videos yet, it's a defense system built by Romans in uh, second century AD until fourth century AD. And it was actually a road with walls five meters high and two meters wide. And they also had a watchtower. So it was a, some kind of a border. And they built such a, a defense system all over Europe, not just here. But this one I'm talking about right now went from uh, Italy, Aquileia in Italy, to Tersatica, further to Atturas or Cikvenica today, Senia or Sen today, and further to Salona in Dalmatia. And I'm uh, very happy. And I'm very proud that I could uh, show you just a small piece of these ancient walls or ancient defense system built by Romans. So let's do it. And I need to walk through this beautiful forest for, let's say, 45 minutes. Stay tuned. Just listen. And this is it. Liburnian Limes. I managed! And this Liburnian Limes was built from 3rd to 4th century AD. And imagine that! I mean, I'm sitting on the wall that is so old! Fascinating. I'm really so happy that we managed as a country to preserve some of our heritage, I would say. Yes, and look how beautiful here is. Peaceful. No one's here at the moment, but I'm happy. The last time I was here, I found a different location. with uh, a smaller part of this Liburnian Limes, but I'm very happy that I found this. And this probably was a watchtower, because they had also watchtowers on these walls they built. And this is so-called Hunter's House. Well, you can probably rent a kitchen over there and make some barbecue and spend some quality time here with just a little bit of internet just for a few minutes to say hi family I'm enjoying here I'm going to stay for some time Okay. Now it's time to go back and to show you 
uh, ruins of once very important and beautiful fortress in Klana. So stay tuned. Let's go further to Klana. While I'm walking back to my car, I would like to tell you something about our language. Well, it, it's, consider, it's, <laughs> it's considered to be uh, one of the most difficult languages in the world. And I remember once I heard that, oh, you know, they speak with a language with only consonants. Well, it's not actually true. But on the other hand, we do have lots of consonants in our words. So, for example, if you want to visit the island of Kirk, the name is Kirk. Only three letters and only consonants. And there are lots of words with only consonants. So for, I um, presume that for a foreign, it's a very difficult to pronounce something like Kirk, something like, I don't know, Schmirkel, <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> words like that. So it's a difficult to learn it but it's not impossible. We do have a very difficult grammar, but you know, when I learned German language, they also had a difficult grammar. I personally find your language, I mean English language, also quite difficult. Sometimes, as you mentioned, as you mentioned, <laughs> sometimes if, as you have seen, I <laughs> had difficulties to or for pronounce some words. So every language has some, you know, difficulties for foreign to learn it and to speak. But if you are interested about our language, if you want more info, please send me a comment, ask me below my video. I will be pleased to give you more information. The first but much smaller fortress was built already in Roman time and we are talking about 3rd century AD because of the road closed by so-called Liburnian Limes. And after that, in 10th century, this area belonged to Croatian state, but only two centuries. And then in 12th century, it belonged to the Count de Vinsky. They were Italian counts. So they built also a watchtower where the entrance in this fortress was. And uh, after that, Habsburg's monarchy inherited this castle in 15th century. And Graf's uh, Wolsey became a new owner and they ruled in behalf of Habsburg's monarchy. So they built lots of other premises, as you can see from here. And the fortress played a very important role in a war with Ottomans, because they were constantly danger. They even tried to conquer this fortress twice, but they failed. And then in 18th century, 
fortress was burned to the ground and abandoned. And of course, like many, many others, fortresses and towns perished over time. So my friends, this is all for today. Thank you for your patience. Enjoy your day and stay tuned until my next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.